I couldn't help but feel a mix of excitement and apprehension as I looked at myself in the mirror, dressed in the most unconventional outfit I'd ever worn. It was a dress, a cute one at that, but it felt like an entirely different version of me. Um, I don't know about this, Jen. It feels really weird. Are you sure you like me better like this? I mean, it just seems wrong for some reason, I confessed, my voice laced with uncertainty. Jen, my best friend and confidant, grinned mischievously as she stood beside me, ready for a night of adventure. Oh my god, Alex, are you kidding? You look absolutely delicious. I mean, you're so cute in that dress, I just want to eat you up with a spoon. Come on, let's go introduce your mom her new daughter. She is going to be so thrilled. In fact, I bet she's going to want to take us to the mall right away so we can buy you a whole new wardrobe. Her enthusiasm was infectious, and I couldn't help but laugh nervously. I'd known Jen for years, and she'd always been the wild one, pushing boundaries and encouraging me to step out of my comfort zone. But this, this was something else entirely. I took a deep breath, trying to summon some confidence, and nodded. All right, let's do it. I trust you, Jen. If you say this is going to be fun, then I'm in. With that, we left my room and headed downstairs, my heart racing. As we walked into the living room, my mom's eyes widened in surprise when she saw me in the dress, and Jen by my side, wearing an even more striking outfit. Mom, I'd like you to meet your new daughter, Alexandra, I said, my voice trembling. Mom's initial shock turned into a warm smile. Well, this is a delightful surprise. It's lovely to meet you, Alexandra. The evening was a whirlwind of laughter, photos, and endless compliments about how stunning we looked. My mom, as Jen had predicted, was more excited about shopping for my new wardrobe than I was. It was as if the dress had transformed me into a new person, one who was more confident and open to embracing change. As the night wore on, I couldn't help but reflect on the bizarre turn of events. Sometimes, it takes a daring friend like Jen to help you break out of your shell and discover a side of yourself you never knew existed. I might have been apprehensive at first, but that evening, I learned that being yourself doesn't always mean conforming to others' expectations, it means embracing who you are and having fun along the way. Over the next few weeks, Jen and I continued to explore this newfound sense of freedom and self-expression. Our adventures included experimenting with various styles, from funky retro outfits to elegant evening gowns, all while maintaining our strong bond of friendship. Jen's infectious enthusiasm and my growing confidence created a perfect dynamic. We became known as the pair that was always up for a good time, and our friends joined in on the fun. It wasn't just about fashion, it was about embracing life with open arms. One day, we decided to organize a dress-up day at the local park. We invited all our friends and encouraged them to wear their most outrageous, creative, or whimsical outfits. It turned into a lively and colorful event that drew the attention of curious onlookers. Even those who were initially skeptical couldn't resist the contagious joy of self-expression. As I reveled in this newfound freedom, I realized that life could be so much more than just conforming to societal norms. It was about authenticity, about being true to myself, and about exploring the endless facets of who I could become. I began to appreciate that every outfit was an opportunity to tell a different part of my story, and I no longer felt confined by anyone's expectations, not even my own. Jen remained my steadfast partner in crime, and her encouragement pushed me to conquer my fears. I started taking on challenges I'd never imagined, from speaking at public events to trying new hobbies and meeting fascinating people along the way. My mom watched with pride as her once shy son blossomed into a vibrant, self-assured individual. She shared stories of her own youth when she'd challenged conventions and broke free from expectations. She'd always known the importance of individuality, and she couldn't have been more pleased with the path I'd chosen. As the months passed, I continued to embrace my own unique style, mixing and matching to my heart's content. I had discovered a profound sense of self-assuredness that came from embracing the unconventional, and I owed it all to a daring friend named Jen. Our journey wasn't just about clothes, it was about rewriting the rules of self-expression, about challenging societal norms, and about celebrating the beauty in our differences.
life had become a vibrant tapestry of experiences, and I couldn't wait to see where our next adventure would take us.